Thank you very much. That's my new vibe. Um, <laughs> I love women. Always loved women. Always loved strong, clear, unique women. I love men too, of course. There's always been something, <coughs> maybe it's because I'm a girl, maybe I've grown, because I've grown into a woman, I don't know. Something, <coughs> or maybe because it's because I had a strong mother. That's me over there. I was a really, really fat baby. <laughs> yeah, actually. There I am, there I am as a cherubic six-year-old, I think. My mom and my dad over there were educators. My, my dad was a skills instructor and my mom a teacher. And they had a really unique relationship in terms of our culture back then. They were really, they were so close, you know. They were, they were so close and they were so physically close and affectionate. It was so unusual back then, actually, that people thought that she had bewitched him. And it sounds kind of sweet, and it sounds, you know, like it sounds charming, but actually, in, in, in our culture, it's actually like a very really serious thing, you know, to say that somebody has bewitched somebody, and there were lots of, lots of problems in my family because of that. But my parents never let on about that. They created such a warm, safe, space for us, such a warm, safe space that we weren't actually even aware of the hell, the craziness that was going on in our country back then in the 80s. Of course, in the 80s, some of you will, re will remember, or you'll know if you're South African, you know, that this country was, was burning. There were massive protests. It was, it was really towards the end of apartheid. But even though there wasn't really that much that I was hearing, there were some icons, there were some people, there were some names that were always filtering through. Mandela, of course. And Winnie Mandela, a force. At that time, you know, we were just hearing about this woman, about how steadfast, how strong she was, the mother of the nation. And of course, <laughs> in the 90s, Brenda Fassi came on the scene. There was something about Brenda Fassi that I will, that I remember feeling even back then as a kid. Brenda was so uniquely herself, South African, undoubtedly. But she broke all of these barriers. You know, she was just this fierce woman, and only Brenda Fassi. And, and it, it was the it was the good, the bad, whatever. She would do whatever she wanted to do artistically and in the way that she lived her life. And that really made a difference to me as a young girl growing up in township life in South Africa back then. And it would inform what I would do as an artist later. Women like Nina Simone, of course, that voice, that clarity of intention, you know, that just, that strength of character. It's what I drew on as an artist. thing with nothing to say darkness won't stand in your way oh you like to walk as if troubles are behind you they'll never find you as long as you hide why oh, there goes the rain standing with forehead on a window pane cry oh bring us your shame we won't leave you lonely, we'll call you by name. You with the sun dripping over your face, nobody knows where you've been. Your arms open wide, greet. 
between strangers like family. Nobody cares all the places you sinned. There I go again, bleeding and beating on windowpane, crying. Out here is my shame. Don't leave me here lonely. I've called you by name. There's no sound when the rivers start flowing. It's only hope that turns bread into wine. I have no words when the winter floods out of you. Never once. 